industrial zone of the town of Ariel in the West Bank, 18-year-old Muhammad Souf began his killing spree, stabbing one of the security guards at this checkpoint before proceeding to the nearby gas station where he stabbed and killed two more people, including Tamil Ariel, a father of six, from one of the nearby communities here, and then proceeded to steal a vehicle and make his getaway. He then drove the car on the highway, ramming it into another person and killing him as well, then proceeding to steal a second vehicle, driving it in the opposite direction of traffic, and hitting several more vehicles before being shot as he tried to escape on foot from the scene. In total, three people were killed, three injured in serious condition in hospital. Head of the Zionist Union Party, Betzalel Smotrich, who covets the defense ministry position in the next government, says Israel needs to take a more aggressive stance. The most pressing matter on our agenda is an uncompromising battle against terror and the return of security to the state and citizens of Israel. Terror has reared its head and we see it's mainly in the West Bank, with stabbings, shootings, rock throwing, and we must stop this. And to do this, we have to move from defence to offence, pursue the terrorists, their backers and their supporters, and to act with strength in the face of terror. We must make sure that everyone who raises a hand, a weapon or a rock will know that his blood will be on his own hands and that he and those near him will pay a great price. Smotrich's party partner Itamar Bengvil has been demanding less restrictions on security forces for opening fire and will surely point to this incident in which one of the guards fired in the air rather than at the body of the attacker, enabling him to continue his attack. Supporters of Bengvil and his Jewish power faction who arrived on the scene claimed the guard would have acted more decisively had there been different procedures in place. If every person, every civilian that can carry a weapon will know that nothing will happen to him if he kills a terrorist, then very quickly you will see a complete halt of all terror attacks and this terrorist would not have been able to murder three Jews. IDF forces operated today in the village of Hares, which is where the terrorists came from. Although this was probably a lone wolf attack, still search for possible collaborators. One of many attacks that have occurred this year and one of the major issues on which Israel's new incoming government will be judged.